Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna continue working on part 15 of this house build. Let's get started. So in the last video, we were able to do this designs. Now we're gonna continue working on this. Um, I want to increase this part right here. So we need to go to level two and I need to create a split width gap, which is right here. So we have this one right here. We need to pull it up like so. And then here, I want to fix this one. So trim and extend. And then for here, I want the underlay to be none. So I'm rather to the one without cap and try to just move it because I want to, this to be separate. So I think that's good enough. Then let's clean up this boundary right here. I'm just going to put it in the middle of that wall. We could attach it from the top so that this one is not showing. And then we could pull this one up as well. Align it. A A L and the issue now is we have a gap. And I just want to maximize this. So that's good enough right there and go back onto level two and here i want to change the wall joint so we need to go next and then that one is the one that i want so it's higher on this part so now what i want to do as well is to make this taller we will need to edit this part right here uh, and then this wall probably uh, we will also increase so i'm gonna select this one and then top offset 1200 And then go to level two, select this wall right here, and then top offset to be 1200. And then this one as well. Or we could just add another wall so that we don't disrupt that wall right there.
there we go so we need to detach that so that this one appears and then we just need to add another wall similar to this to go from the top right here and then obviously we need to change the base constraint of those so level 3 and then AL align it and then there we go and then we need to go to level 2 again and then cut this part right here I'm going to change this to exterior wall and then here let's split element this so now we have top offset to be 1200 instead there we go so now everything looks good and then we need to edit the roof so we need to select pick line and then this part right here there we go and as you can see we have made this one bigger because of what we're going to do and then we just need to ha have this one CS and then go to level 2 but we're going to put it on level 3 but we just need the guidance of level 2 so that we can do it properly so level 3 and then base offset so we could do it at I think 600 or more I'm going to actually align it at the top right here so that looks good right there and then we're going to create a box around here um, oh I'm going to edit this in place right here um, and then I'm going to select this three to change this color so I'm going to use another or I'm just going to duplicate this I want this to be number four instead of number three because I am probably going to add um, gray here and then I'm going to maybe make it this bigger to look nice like this this one I'm not gonna change at all then click finish on that so we have this one right here it is different then let's go to level 2 and just going to cut geometry here because for some reason it got um, deleted there so we just need to do that cut geometry and then I'm going to make this one gray going around a little bit thicker then the rest and then obviously here as well so I'm going to go south elevation I'm going to edit this edit in place I'm gonna set 
our big tail plane which is this one right here and I'm going to add an extrusion and then I'm going to use uh, the gypsum wallboard 3 because I just want it white 200 200 there and then 200 all the way here I'm just going to align it and then trim and extend and then click finish on that so this one is just white so I'm just gonna leave that one as white and then we have this one like that maybe I'm going to just align it from here this one is a little bit thicker and then I'm going to maximize this all the way to the top and then just add more um, curtain grids and then mullion so I just want to know so 935 935 so I'm gonna go and add 935 and maybe another 935 here or I'm just going to delete this and then just add properly so that everything is equal one third each there we go and then add mullion and then just add it individually because we already have the perimeter of that and then I'm going to add here as well separate and grid maybe just three of them to be consistent because this is around 600 and then individually so that looks good um, of course it looks different now but that's much better So now I just want to um, extend this so let's go to ground floor and then I'm going to edit this floor uh, let's uh, edit this floor first I'm going to just estimate it so it's around 7500 from this wall and then edit this one and then let's just extend this one all the way right here and this one for sure extend this and then this border wall as well this one go to level one so that we could see it and then we just need to extend this one I'm gonna look go align and then all the way there 
so now we just extended this I want to uh, add the patch of grass here so if we go to ground floor and then edit this let's just add this walkway right here and then a patch of grass here and then go finish and then copy this and then add and then we want to add grass on the other side as well so it's my as well that just add here so align it right here and then you can maximize this because we're just going to add trees here to, for reflection so click on finish and we have something like that now so that is looking good um, and then of course we're going to add uh, a house on each side so that everything looks good when we're rendering and then um, we're going to add sidewalk as well and then trees all around for this one I just want to add this so we have gypsum wall board and then use rendering appearance I want it to be colored instead of white I want it gray so that we could visualize the way it will look it's actually other way around but but once we're in twin motion we're, we'll be able to uh, properly add this background right here and then we're going to add lights as well so something that we're going to add lights here so even though this one we're going to add a void extrusion and then set pick a plane if not actually instead of this one I'm just going to edit that and we're going to void sweep instead so that we could pick the path so it's easier click finish and then edit profile and we could just add something like this right here so 15 15 20 and then from the top I want to know so 20 15 20 15 that's good enough 15 15 this so we're gonna do that cut geometry and then we're gonna do that again void sweep pick path right there edit profile and then you can put 20 15 15 until you create this one finish cut geometry and then lastly this one as well void sweep pick pad 
pick this one instead profile 20 here 15 so this one cardiometry and then before we leave we could add so finish that edit profile again and then we could use paint so me plants so we don't have it yet so we could just add it once we're adding all the lights because it will appear once it's there so at least we have added the notch there and then we could uh, make it uh, um, light up um, before that I want to edit this one because I just want to edit the path edit sweep pick path and then select this path as well and we want to make this one all the way and then cut geometry so as you can see it looks nicer going around there so we're gonna stop here for now and continue in the next video thank you for watching and hope you like the video please hit like and subscribe feel free to comment down below